Attention shoppers, you've just tuned into Hacker Warehouse TV, a great show for InfoSec neighbors. I'm your host, Troy Brown, and today here at DEF CON 25 with Salvador Mendoza, a point of sale security expert who's exposed a major vulnerability in Samsung Pay last year. So, Salvador, how's the con going? Good. You had your talk on Thursday, correct? Thursday, yes, Thursday morning. I think it was around 2.30 p.m. Okay, yeah. so now you can just chill the rest yeah, of the time. Yeah, chill now. Awesome. If you could just give us a brief overview of your talk. Yes, uh, basically it's how you can implement uh, max track information into audio waves. How you can implement some kind of Bluetooth attack using max track information. Okay, and so you were saying uh, you did a demo, and in the demo you had a device? Yes, this device, is a, I call it Blue Spoof because it's about blue Bluetooth technology. Yeah. Basically you can connect more of these ones to the um, laptop, about two or three of these ones simultaneously. Yeah. So you can send different kind of max track information to each one. So you can have, for example, let's say, and door locks, uh, car keys, uh, readers, yeah. to each one in one kind of door, and you can send different kind of Magstripe information to all of them simultaneously. So you can take Magstripe information off a card, send it wirelessly through the air, and then play it back through any coil. Exactly, exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. How did it feel to find such a critical vulnerability in Samsung Pay? Well, it was fun. I mean, yeah, yeah basically, I didn't expect it. Yeah. I started researching about it, grabbing some tokens, and you know, to this kind of attack, you need to grab more than 100 tokens. Oh yeah. But I, I'm using, of course, my cell phone to do that. Yeah. And after that, I started researching how, I, how can I play them, implementing our technology like Max Poo from Samicam Car. Uh huh. And, and that's happened. where it go. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what? Why did you choose point of sale systems over like access control? It's funny because we have this kind of max time information for a long time, like more than 50 years. 50 years. So it's it's kind of funny that we're still using the same technology until yeah. today. So uh, every people every year has something to show about how to exploit this kind of max time information. So yeah. I decide, why why me not? So let's try to do something fun. It sounds like it's due for an update. 50 years old, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. So uh, you have an open source project that you talked about. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I design a violentmac.com. Okay. It's a website that you can design or create your audio spoof. I call audio spoof to my, my stripe audio waves. Yeah. Uh, this audio spoof you can design, put in the data, for example, the max stripe data, and yeah. it's going to generate the audio in the web browser. So you can send them directly from the web browser to this kind of tool, the blue spoof. Wow, wow. So you can create the max stripe data on violentmag.com, and then it will recreate it in an audio file for you, and then you could send it to this remote device, or you could even play it on the phone through the speaker, right? Exactly. For example, you're connected to the uh, to the cell phone, let's say, you need one of these ones because you need an amplifier. Oh, I see. So that's why you need one of these kind of tools. Okay. The idea is that you can play for any kind of device, iPhone, Samsung's, if you're connected to one of these devices. Okay. It's like any kind of Bluetooth speaker board. Yeah, and it's not using the speaker per se, you have a coil there, and the coil plays it back to the mag head. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Instead of using the speaker, basically I took it off, yeah. and I put the coil. That's pretty brilliant. Yes. Yeah. yes. And then you were saying like, for, for a mag stripe, there's different types of mag stripes. There's like one track, two track, three track. You were saying it could do all the above? You, it could do it, yeah. but you need to change a little bit about the code, okay. how it's interpreting. Yeah. But you can do it uh, in one time, another time, the second track or the third track, okay. implementing different audio files. But you awesome. can do it basically, yes. That is pretty cool. So what's what's next for you? What's the next step in this, in this uh, evolution of your work? Uh, this one is pretty cool. I think I'm going to try to make some kind of gadgets. Okay. We like gadgets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I'm designing one of the brand, uh, like using a band, like a watch. Okay. So you can make payments with this. Oh. Like, no more like Samsung Pay or Apple Pay or that kind of things. Yeah. Something more easy that people can do it by themselves. Oh, that's cool. You should it could do be that. open source. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We look forward to seeing that. Yeah. That would be cool. Yes. Well, so what are some, any awesome other things you've been working on lately? Uh, is it primarily this? Primarily this, because it takes a lot of time to do that. Yeah. But also I'm looking into, into the SDR radio frequencies. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm looking into that. Oh, yeah, we love yeah. SDR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how long were you working on this from the time that you started the research to speaking at DEF CON? Like six months. Six months? Yes. It's actually pretty quick. Yes, yeah. six months. Wow. Because I have the basis, because when I made the research about Samsung Pay, I have all the ideas about this research. Okay. It could be possible. Yeah. So 
from that day until today, I'm talking about like two years. Okay. Oh, so I, I have the idea, but I didn't make it right okay. the first time. And up in my last six months, I work on these ones. I see. And so you were working on Samsung Pay long ago for about two years, and then the last yeah. six months has been to crank this out for DEF CON. Exactly. Oh, exactly. that's cool. Yeah. Somebody told me to present another tag, but it was exclusive for DEF CON this year. Okay. This tag. Well, what, uh, do you have any career advice you would give anybody, like, just getting into this? I think you need to research about another research before. Yeah. For example, I researched about Samsung, um, Sami Cam, Sami Camcor MaxBook device. Okay. So I start with, with the MaxBook from Sami Camcor, and I start designing tools about MaxTrack information. Okay. Because it was open source, mm -hmm. and you can uh, design it by yourself, yeah. and you can modify them. Okay. So it was pretty, pretty easy to do that. I see. I have all my projects open source, so people can look at them, learn, and practice. Okay, and your open source project again is on violentmag.com, is that right? No, my website is salmg.net. Okay. And they're all the repositories, all the code, uh, all the all examples, yes. Okay. In the development of this project, were there any tools that you used that were really helpful to you? I mean, you mentioned the the, same, the yeah. previous project there. Yeah, I, imp else? I implemented a Max from Sammy. Okay. And I tried to use some kind of radio implementing in the Raspberry Pi. Okay. But it didn't work well. Yeah. So I, I keep with the Sami Camo Card tool okay. and I start designing this, implementing audio signals. Okay. Yes. Basically I started researching about more about Max Try into Python scripts. Yeah. How we can relate it to it okay. and how we can design it. Yes. And any uh, stories there along the vendor response? I mean, did you reach out to Samsung? How did that go, go away? Oh, or well, go about? yes, I reached Samsung since the first building already that I found. Uh -huh. And they, they answered me very fast. Oh, yeah. And we talked about it all the way until Black Hat and Defcon last year. Okay. So uh, we talked about it and they said they, they, didn't, they don't say that they want to fix it, uh -huh. but they, they were very responsive. Awesome. So, but. Uh, after after I after I present my research in Black Hat, they say that there were no issue. Yeah. They were it was some kind of lie or something like kinda of like that. But yeah. Well I mean it is a fifty year old technology, yeah. Magstripe, so it probably is what it is yeah. until Magstripe just gets replaced basically. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I mean they are implementing they call the tokenization process, implementing MST technology. Okay. Yeah. But it's still Magstripe information. True. Yeah. They are changing the token in its transaction. Okay. Like a rolling code technique. Yeah. But uh, there's still much information that somebody sure. can grab it, and sniff, and play. Because you're it, building replace. at the translator level, so it's regardless a, of encryption, decryption, you're just yeah. being able to replay that. Let's say, for example, you're making a payment with Samsung Pay. Yeah. But something happened in the terminal, and the transaction didn't went through. Okay. So that token that you make it is still alive. So I can use it with another another prototype like this one. Or like Max Boo. Okay. So, so it sounds that's like there's still some advancements that can be made there. Exactly. Okay. So what's your favorite favorite part about DEF CON? Is this your first DEF CON or how no, many have no. you been to? Uh, it's my third DEF CON. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. I think the best part is the connection that you're making in DEF CON. Yeah. Yeah. For Talk sure. to people, have a beer, have yeah. fun. Yeah. Awesome. And what what kind of impact do you think DEF CON's made in the payment industry? I think it's a huge impact. I mean yeah. All the people, I, I know many people that is coming from many co companies, yeah. industries, to this conference to see how we are doing our job. Awesome. Because it's, it's kind of, it's you know, we need them and they need us, Yeah. basically. So yeah. It's, it's a huge impact. Yeah. They know that how, how the things need to work out, but also how to fit some kind of things they are doing wrong. Exactly, one of the earlier speakers had said, we're, and it was a great analogy, said we're like the immune system of the security yeah. industry because you know, the researchers show what's wrong, yeah. vendors fix it, so yeah. it goes back and forth. Well, um, Salvador, thanks again for coming out and sharing your research with us. It was a pleasure. If anybody watching wants to find more about your work, um, you gave us a couple links to that you have your work out there. Can you mention those links one more time? Yes, the first project is uh, violentmag.com. Okay. And my website is salmg.net. Awesome, yes. awesome. Well, we'll have the links to all of that and more in the description below. If you're inspired by Salvador's research, drop us a line in the comments. Oh, and if you like and share this video, that'd be kind of cool too. This is Troy Brown with Hacker Warehouse TV. And until next time, remember guys, keep it between the laws. Thanks again, Salvador. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, man.